Hello everybody, and welcome back to my Karakadrak playthrough here, the Norse Dwarves in Total War Warhammer 2. Obviously a modded um, uh, playthrough with Kataf's Norse Dwarves mod. Where, well, as you remember from last time, things aren't going a bit wrong. We've, well, not going terribly wrong, but we are in an interesting situation. We've just had the Chaos Invasion, and as I hadn't realised, Norse, various Norsekin factions reappear. So we are going to fight a brave defence of Krakad Krakadorn here. Um... Brave defense against the uh, hateful foe attacking us. We don't have the best army here to defend, uh, but we're going to try and cause as much damage as possible to them before we fall, while we rally our armies in our armies and rebuild. Um, again, we are in an interesting position, so yeah. We are going to new box at least a little bit here. Um, simply because I, I kind of need to. <laughs> Just uh, trying to um, shape these guys nicely. So we've got a bit of a better shape for our, our new box. Just going to pull these guys in much more. I don't think I'm going to win this one. I don't want the new box to be too small, if you see what I mean. But at the same time, I need it to be big enough to actually hold the line. I'm going to bring these guys forwards because they're actually anti-large once they get forwards. First thing we're going to do is try and take him out. Because he's at level 30, so killing him... It kind of key. Oh, we're doing good, solid damage there. My flanks are what I'm really worried about because these guys are not are, are not great units. Come on, kill him. Close the ranks up slightly. Oh, and they've bro literally broken through. Was to be expected, and here come in the skin wolves. Oh, kill it! Kill it! Fill it full of arrows until it's dead. Don't let him run away. Kill him. Right, turn and hit that feral mammoth. We're not killing him before he gets away, but I can definitely kill that feral mammoth. You, back on that. Oh, he's coming back in. Okay, turn and fire back at him. We're already beginning to break. I'm going to pull some of these guys over this flank because they're needed. Kill him utterly. If I can kill him, that's actually a really solid blow for them. Because he's a very solid character, which will reduce them a bit. Obviously, this isn't necessarily about winning. It's just about doing as much damage as possible. I'm not killing him. God damn it. Let's start trying to get some of my ranged out so I can actually get them engaging again. No, you can stay there engaging. God damn, it's over. Again, I could have done a more wide formation and it may have worked better versus that. I'll maybe try that in the next time we next time we get hit. But right now, it's just doing as much damage as possible. I didn't quite kill the Lord, but I definitely reduced him massively. So if I can manage to engage him relatively quickly, 
we should deal with him. I've got an army I'm bringing to bear here, but it's not the best army in the world. But then again, it's still long beards and stuff, so it should be able to deal with things. Oof, they just destroyed it. God damn them. This army. Wow, they've just got a butt ton of armies out. This army is going to be coming to deal with that. Hmm. Strunk Ward Lord. Hidden Pirate Cove, wait. Can I help you? I... Lord of Clan Morgan. Getting defenses out everywhere I goddamn can. That'll do for now. Just leveling the, what this get place is building up. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Holy cow! I'm not sure that um, the Empire has enough troops there, guys. Why are all the Empire troops there rather than coming north to help? Am I allied with the Empire? I think I'm allied with the Empire. If I'm not, I need to be. Unfortunately, I think I'm kind of stuck here on my own as the shield in the nor in the, of, of the north with all of the chaos forces heading for me. Um, they are moving around now, so hopefully the Empire will come and assist. Hopefully they won't take over too much territory. I can always buy it back off them if I do. Um, beauty of the buying things mod. There you go, they are definitely heading north with lots of troops, but still. Wow. Okay, a lot of you have been asking why I'm not going for Norska, and the reason I'm not going for Norska is because Norska's pretty much... Oh, no, I mean, Nagarond is still there, and I may go fight Nagarond a bit, but after this, but we'll see how it goes, because I'm fairly... If I'm honest, I think Norska's already pretty much fallen, especially as it's going to be being smashed by another Chaos Invasion just now. Oh, God. Again, I, I kind of, this is why I didn't resettle this territory, because I don't want them to come at me. I'm going to try and get into uh, my port uh, with my main army and hold there as best I can um, while we're building another army behind. Much as I'd like to get m move multiple armies back to protect here, I simply don't have the forces to just yet. Oh, God damn it, he went that way. We're going to fight this, not because I expect to win, simply because... I expect to be able to kill Bothar here and take him down, which will be good. He will be immortal, so he will come back, but taking him down will reduce their overall power nicely. Um, I hope. So doing a bit more of a spread formation this time, though they will flank me to hell.
But this is more just to try and stop their large units absolutely squishing me. Good, he's coming in first, so he should get disintegrated fairly quickly. Kill him! Bump! There we go. I want you two to move this way and focus on that. On to them. No, no, no. Ah, uh, you see, we're not going to last long here, but that's fine. We don't need to last long. That was the main thing here, was killing this horrible person and his pet oh god can you imagine oh Norse dwarfs should get the ability to have mammoths guys because you know Norse dwarfs our flank is utterly shattered on that side that's fine switch targets to that please We, it's done. My uh, Thane is going to fight valiantly here, I'm sure, for quite a while. But there's only so much he can do against this reckless Norskin hate. With a mammoth coming in at him as well. My quarrelers are holding surprisingly well. See, this isn't necessarily about winning, it's just about doing, about reducing them at least a bit. Which, to be fair, we did again there. Um, good God, though. Um, yeah, this is where maybe my really fast expansion was possibly not the best idea for me. <laughs> uh, because I've left myself quite exposed. Again, I do have forces to deal with this, it's just getting them into place to recoup. Okay, they've taken there, that's good. And the amount of forces they've got to come at me is kind of scary. Honor to your ancestors. No. Master of Runecraft. I'm gonna have to hold in here at least to start with. Because we are a bit broken, if I'm honest. I'm done ready. What? Hmm. Right, what I'm gonna do here is something a bit different. Summon me if you dare. His job is basically to ferry troops. He might grab some more troops next turn though. I'm not going to get enough done. See, I don't get this, why I would recruit these guys instead. Uh, I mean, their Vanguard deployment is nice, they've got slightly more speed, but in general, they're just not as good. I want more Haskals. Troll Melters. Oh, wow! Runes of Quicksilver, Armoured anti la Oh, yes, please. Hmm. They don't have quite as much anti-large, but all their buffs. 
I think we're going to get a couple of them in for the time being as well, actually. Ready. I love these guys look seriously good as well on the map. Right. Armed and ready. <sighs> These guys need a turn to build up, and then they're going to take the pet, take it to the enemy. Though they may get hit first, they should be able to hold there. Should being the operative word, it's still a bit of a risk. Good God! <clears throat> Can't believe he's. I've still got him going to deal with this grudge. <laughs> I should have probably turned him round, but he's so far, gone so far now. We're going to get hit again up in the north. Uh, there's nothing I can really do about that at the moment. It's going to be a reconquest afterwards. The real issue is going to be holding enough that I don't cripple myself economically and hoping the main chaos forces don't go at me. And Nagarond is actually expanding into the donut quite a lot now. So after this, I may need to go down and uh, invade the donut to get that territory under... Dwarven control, because the elves are obviously not able to hold it, and thankfully the Empire is heading up to, to, to assist, um, which is good. However, that may not be where I need them. However, Boris is going towards the main Chaos Forces Hell for Leather, so we'll see how that goes. Yes. Oh god, Gelt is tiny. Hmm... See, that's what I'm a bit concerned about here, is they've got all that. That is Bretonia up there. I don't think are going to be too easy to deal with. I'm not so worried about Chaos there. I don't think they'll come at me, but if they do, it's going to be hell. Um, I think they will probably push down into Kislev because it's the closest places. And the dwarves, uh, potentially they'll go around the top if the dwarves have expanded far enough. This is going to be a battle. <laughs> to put it mildly, I should be able to win this. The danger here is that I've got a lot of weak, already weak units. The benefit is I've got some of my godly quar quarrelers, guys. Uh, we're definitely starting up here. Because these quarrelers are... So goddamn veteran, it's unbelievable. Hmm. For the ancestors. Long be it. That'll do, it doesn't need to be perfect. Kind of corner camping a little, but it's it's using the map to my advantage here. It's not trying to corner camp, if you see what I mean, guys. Though corner camping is a perfectly n adequate tactic. Ooh. Using these rocks to our advantage, actually, almost. <laughs> right. I 
I mean, he's pretty much killed himself. Right, all of my range to kill that mammoth, feral mammoth, yesterday. It needs to be gone. <laughs> Speed we rip them down with, with all these quarrelers, is something of, is beautiful. It's going to break in a second. The second it breaks, we're swapping to this one. Switch. Then we're going to start burning off those trolls. You guys are going to move up onto this flank. Hold the line. They will. My, my long beards here will backing everything up, encouraging them with their experience will hold the line. Onto the trolls. Onto that unit of trolls. No, onto them now. Burn them off. We're doing fine there. Oh, some of them are coming round. Hit them. All of my ranged. I want turning round and burning that unit off next. We're doing well enough here. The trolls will keep bouncing, but... Getting them off my flank here is more important for now. Up into them. Ah, they're already breaking. <laughs> right, I want these guys moving down here then. Okay, let's burn off them. Oh, okay, forward. Nothing can stop us. I speak my lord's will. Into the flank there, that's good. Let's throw a bit of range support that way. You guys back onto them, because they are very good. Those marauder hunters are very good at killing dwarves because they've got high AP. Onto that unit of trolls. Right, back onto them, please. We're doing really nicely here. The line is holding nicely. I probably need to shove all my range back onto him, to be fair. Let's take their lord out now. Fold in. That's it. Keep moving. Advance. We've broken him. We've killed him. Right. There we go. They're broken. Ha ha ha. Kill them all. Do not let a single Norskin escape. Throw some rounds into that unit as it runs. Fall back, leave the quarrelers space to shoot. There we go. That's what happens when they face a proper, fully fledged dwarven army. We'd still lost, you know, we lost uh, over 200 dwarves, you know, 282 dwarves today, but for 664 of that, and considering that my army was, you know, not in perfect setup at all, you know, this army is not in its best setup, it had already taken damage, taken attrition, with a full stack, that would have been much better. Kill them all. No captives. 
Yeah, the real Norskans can be kept alive, but the treacherous ones need to be dealt with. Master of Runecraft. Nice. Onward. Armed and ready. And no, now even though we're not at full, we're full enough to ex to to push Fire. forwards. I'm going to go for some untainted there, because we need it to be there. Yes, please, extra buffs versus Norskans. I may as well wait one more turn, if I'm honest. I honestly don't quite get why I would... Oh, they're siege attackers, that's why. Interesting. Yeah, one more turn to get all of that out, and then we'll, we'll uh, get them. With them, we'll move. The Crimson Bay, and I don't have time to recruit them, unfortunately. However, uh, what I can start doing here is recruiting some of the longer runits, which will take un units. Runits? Units which will take a bit longer, though I could also just do some of the four turn ones. Eh. I'm just gonna get a couple of extra units of long beds in there for now, to be fair. Anyway, guys, that's where we're going to end this one. So we're in an interesting position. Chaos is obviously building up there. We are sending, re going to send reinforcements up to revolutionise Cromson's army. And Thick uh, Olfrauna is uh, beginning the fight back in the north, uh, which should actually be relatively simple. And we have a uh, we have some Empire troops pushing in as well to assist. We'll see what they do. They'll probably take territory. I didn't actually mean to hit end turn there. Um, I'm going to finish up now anyway, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, an extra special thank you to my Patreons and my channel members. That is all linked down below to my Patreon and my channel members if it's something you'd be of interest. Um, they should all be on the screen now. Other than that, as always, a massive, massive thank you to everybody for watching. You are all awesome, and I really do appreciate it. Cheers, guys.